Hello fan choice, this is Rodolfo. I'm here recording a Fallout 4 video of my settlement in, in the castle. I wanted to show it to you guys. I know David Bishop so, showed us a video of his settlement a while back. So I thought I'd do the same. Here's my character. As I turn the camera around, you can see my settlement. And here it is. If you remember, there used to be holes here and I repaired them with cement. So now the guard tower in the front looks a lot better. You can see there's spotlights, and I also put missile turrets on the tower so that if anyone tries to come in, they'll just blast them away. And those things are overpowered, let me tell you. I had the Institute attack this place once, and they just destroyed them completely. So let's go inside. So this gate actually is controlled by a switch up top that the guard, if he sees anybody wanting to attack this place, can just press the button and close it. And this back door is actually controlled by a switch that's right here. So this guard, he can control that switch. So if anyone wants to come in and doesn't have the right paperwork or visa, he can just close this door. So as you enter, you can see my marketplace. And there's you can go either to the left or right and to, other, to access other parts of the town. And as you see here, I have a bar to the left. And some general and clothing stores to the right. It's nighttime, so they're closed, so the people who own this shop aren't here right now. These guys are at the bar. My back hurts. My feet hurt. And here's Radio Everything Freedom. I created a little building for him. So if you go back here, I have a robot shop. Where you can purchase any robot you'd like. Robots for all your needs. We have bodyguards, servants, companions, lovers. You know, you never know. If you're lonely, a robot might be what you need. I'm not here to judge. And it's fitting quite really because uh, we have old Pistol here. He moved from New Vegas and now he's working at a, at a little shop here. Um, I actually created him part of the Automaton DLC. And I made him in this big factory here. Face this. Four floors, and I'll show you that next. I have a sentry robot. If you go up here, we have a weapon store. Store owner's not here because he's asleep. It's nighttime. This data. Part of the automaton DLC, one of the companions. No, I would not. So we go in here, and here's a robot, robot workbench where I created uh, several robots that run this settlement. Four floors, and I'll show you each floor now. Oops. Let's start with the third floor because I went up here by accident. So I have a conveyor storage system. I have a ammunition plant where you can create ammo, and this is my fusion reactor, which has powered this entire settlement. Creates a hundred energy. I have some of my power armor here. And another energy plant for energy weapons. And I have a glass window in the elevator so you can look out as you're going up and down. You get a really nice view of the wasteland. You can see everything. You can see the whole settlement from here as well. On the second floor, which you missed originally, I have all the power suits. A lot of power suits that I found, not all of them. So if a guard needs to, you know, protect this place, he can come in here, put on the power suit, press this button right here, and exit out the back. And this takes you up to the wall, so he's instantly prepared to wreak havoc on any intruders, and make sure this remains a safe place in the Commonwealth. There's this again. Sorry, dog meat. So you're probably wondering how I built so much stuff, because I, you know, there is a settlement limit right here. You see at the top right of the screen, the size meter. You can actually, there's an exploit you can do. I did not build this place with any mods. Uh, this is built using only DLC that Bethesda already provided on their own, and the vanilla game resources as well. No mods, even though I'm playing on PC. In order to get that size limit to remain small, there's an exploit that they have not patched. And I'll show you how to do it. 
So if we can go to any apparel or weapons. Let's drop this, for example. You drop it on the floor. Go into your workbench. And then press B to store it in the workbench. Now pay attention to the meter to the top right as I store it. You see how it reduced in size? So you can do that with all your equipment. And then just grab your equipment again in here. Um, you can just grab it. And basically you can do that over and over and over again until that meter gets small again. And then you can build more stuff. So that's how I was able to build so many buildings in this one tiny place. So now let's go back to the entrance real quick so I can show you some more. So if you turn right, you'll enter my shanty town where a lot of people live. There's a guardhouse here. Down here is a greenhouse where all the farmers work during the day and provide food for my assembly. So this is part of a workshop you'll see I believe uh, they provided all these glass windows. There's a lot of materials that they provided in some of the other DLCs. And here's the armory. So you actually, I actually made a code though, you can't open this unless you made a proper code. I'm just pressing random numbers so it doesn't really work. If you press the right code, which I'll do right now, Voila, it opens. And you can have access to the armory back there and get anything you need. That way no one steals your resources. So this is my shanty town. Very nice. Show you some of the houses. The bartender lives here and he's kind of poor and somewhat of a drunkard. You can see he's sleeping in that bed. Poor guy. So down here you have access to the walls as well. And this is the wall that I rebuilt. This used to be a hole here. Restricted area. You just go in here and you come up up top and you're on the wall. The only guards can come up here. There's a little picnic area for the guards. Lunch area for their breaks. Over here is another one gate. And I have this robot here running this uh, cannon for the back door, which also has a security gate that can be locked from the patrol tower. He seems familiar, but I can't quite remember where he's from. I built this guy, and for some reason he reminds me of someone, but I don't remember who. I'll be back later. Sure. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. I really can't remember who he is. Oh well. I'm gonna go down here. Back in my shanty town. And there's a bathroom back here. The two stalls, one on the top, one on the bottom. So you can do your business right down these holes, your poop, or you know, whatever you need to do. You can sit down on the bench and poop. And let me show you something special about this. Sorry, it's taking a little long. So pretend this steel ball is a piece of poop. Or urine or whatever. Bomb it, I don't know. Goes down. It's like, oh, I wonder where it went. Let's see. There's the back of the greenhouse now. There's a Brahmin enclosure here. For milk. That's what comes out of that nasty pus filled sack. The back of the warehouse. I mean back of the greenhouse. And look at this. The steel ball is right here in this bathtub. And there's fertilizer. Uh, yeah. You can imagine what that fertilizer is made out of, you know? But you know that we're in the wasteland, so you have to do the best of what you've got. This is Radio so it comes around, goes around, and these settlers are very well fed. So back here is uh, my rich house. Down here, Preston lives at the bottom. And I used the vault material to build these. So these beds are a little nicer than the regular beds that come. With the vanilla game, they're from the DLC. Little kitchen. And upstairs is where I live. I created a nice abode for myself. Let me show you. Keep my magazines. Bedroom. Let's go to the attic. And there's a beautiful view from up here. 
You get to see the whole town. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, Voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Keep and here's where some of my favorite equipment is. My favorite piece of power, uh, power armor. This is part of the Automaton DLC. You might recognize him in Fallout 3. And I don't use a guide, so I've found all this stuff on my own. That's why I may not have everything, but I have a good amount of stuff. I still haven't explored the entire Commonwealth, but I've explored a lot of it. Tower. So that scaffolding was not here originally. I had to build that in case I needed to repair the antenna. My repair, my um, radio man is here. Howdy, General. Howdy. All right, so let's go inside the walls and let's check that out. I made houses in here too for my settlers. They're sleeping now. Patriotic. As you can imagine, I'm the general of the Minutemen. I'm sure you figured by now. Mm, so I have a prison me. cell here. That place is nothing but trouble. Purely empty, yeah. but there's a guard that comes here every once in a while and makes sure that no, no uh, bad people come in here. Another entrance to the top. One of my robots. This is some really paranoid settler that hates communism and thinks the war is going on. Some fishermen. I guess Ronnie's a fisherman. Yeah. And this is one of my favorite rooms, the conference room, where me, Preston, and uh, Leader Desdemona from the railroad go to the steel club and discuss matters of importance to the Commonwealth. In my faith, we actually managed to keep everyone alive for the very end. I made a fireplace. This is Curie's clinic. She's here usually during the day. Barber shop and a restaurant and gym. Horace and Pete's. There's also a bar. You might have heard of a bar called that before. So here's a cooking stove. They actually use this during the nighttime uh, when it's time to eat. I have to even chop up meat. They actually sit here and eat the settlers. Really impressive with the programming that Festa uh, provided for these uh, workshop materials. And there's a gym here. And this pommel is hilarious. As you can see, it's hysterical to see a settler use this and see see one of them do that. Especially if it's someone that's balding or something. It looks ridiculous and it's so funny. And that is all for my settlement. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, and if you have any questions about how I may have constructed any of this, or you want any advice on settlement building or or anything, just uh, feel free to leave any comments at the bottom of the video, and uh, and I'll write it as soon as possible. Uh, I'm usually always reading everything on Game Zone, uh, even if I'm not participating. I always read I just read, and I really enjoy the community. So thank you for watching, and uh, talk to you soon.